Do you get tired of video games? Standing. Oh, I could just take a baby and just fucking... I do. So that's why today I want to take a break and be a little more creative. Um, wait, am I even recording this? So recently, you might have seen this picture on Twitter. Or you could have seen it in the speedrunner videos. I made that because I'm a Photoshop wizard. And you can also be a Photoshop wizard if you follow this tutorial that I'm about to... So if you want to follow along, I put the picture in the description. Uh, all you need is some skill and Photoshop. Easy. Just go on at adobephotoshop.com and it's only $20 a month. Simple. Easy. I would love to, for you to follow along and send it. Send me what you've done with this picture. I mean, it could be anything. It could be, you know, what I'm doing right now. You could make something a little more funky and I'd love to see uh, what, you, what you do. So send it to me on my Twitter description yes sir so first of all you want to open your software and here we have our, uh, our quite lengthy man here um, but what we want to do is make him longer um, so there's gonna be three steps to this process here is gonna be first of all isolate the cryptid um, second is gonna be replace the background and third is gonna be lengthen so so our first step here is gonna be to control J to make a duplicate a background here and we're gonna go we're gonna duplicate twice actually yeah we're gonna go and do a quick selection around our guy here. You can use whatever you want. Some people like the pen tool, some people like to select sub subject here. But I'll just go and uh, manually grab our, uh, our guy here, our streamer. Okay, now that you got your mask here, your selection, you want to go to the, the layer, the first layer that you have your selection on, and click this button here to make a mask. Boom. You got a selection, so that means you can... Wow! <laughs> you can go and duplicate him, and you get a bunch of friends here. But that's not what we're doing today. So you're just going to put him back where he was. I'm going to turn off all the other layers, and as you can see here, the, the, the mask is quite rough here. So we can just click on the, ma the mask here, go to our brush tool, and the black on the on you know when you, you use a mask the black removes stuff while the white adds stuff back so we're just gonna go with the, the black brush and uh, just gonna erase some of the parts that aren't really uh, fitting there you go our, our mask is perfect here look at that hi yeah we're looking good dude turn on their other layers but now we got a problem here if we take our guy and stretch him out here he, there's a teal behind him. We don't want that. We don't want this streamer. So we'll just control click our mask here to make a selection. Go on the layer under. Make sure it is a smart object that we rasterize here. And then we're just going to delete it. Boom. There you go. So uh, after you deleted that, now you got this void that you have to fill. Um, so you're going to click that mask again. Um, turn it off here. Make sure you selected the under layer here. Select. Modify. Expand four pixels boom now you've selected outside of the the, the void and we're, now this is where it gets fucking insane okay this is where you see the real wizardry behind photoshop so you're gonna go to edit content aware fill and now you make sure to outputs the current layer and look at this it's it's just done there's there you go there's it's, it's all just gone as you can see it's like he was never there in the first place yeah select your boy edit puppet warp boom so now you're gonna click all the joints of a you know of a normal person which is the head the neck the shoulders elbows arms hips knees ankles you know and such just uh you know you're you're not an idiot you can figure it out and then just fucking have fun there you go press enter and look at that you've got a nice fucking <laughs> And, you know, you don't have to stop there, you know, you can make it look more like a, like a sighting of a creature than anything. You can just, you know, go to our, uh, what is this called? This crop tool, you know, rotate it a little, make it a square, you know, like an old, an old Polaroid, basically. Rotate it a little, make sure it's in frame, make it a little off center. So it looks like someone took it in a hurry. Let me add a path blur to make it look very, like someone took it in a hurry, took the picture in a hurry, you know, add a, you know, a, a, an adjustment layer to make the, the colors look different. Give it a sepia tone for that old picture look, you know. Maybe sharpen the image a little. Sharpen more. Add some noise. 
make it look an old picture. There we go. Uh, maybe add a vignette to it. Really give make that. I don't know how to add a vignette. We'll, we'll figure it out. No worries. Hit black. Uh, add a circle in the middle. Delete it. Blur it. Blur the shit out of it, maybe? There you go, and then we can fuck around with the opacity. There we go. Now, you got your own cryptid picture. Oh god, that looks actually fucking terrifying, dude. And I think we, it's just for a nice, like, creepy touch, we should fuck with the face a little bit. There we go. You got your perfect cryptid picture. It looks like something your grandparents would have in their basement and you find it like 20 years after they've died. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I can't wait to see your creations. Uh, feel free to send them to me on my Twitter. Yeah, I hope uh, I got to open up your mind, get your brain gears turning about this whole creativity thing. Um, yeah.